Well, prison guards armed with shotguns killed a handcuffed inmate and injured several others in multiple incidents last year at High Desert State Prison. The guards' actions resulted in lawsuits, a state review of the use of force, and a Contact 13 investigation. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears has the latest from a report that was just released this afternoon. Darcy. Trisha, this is the report that everyone's been waiting for on the use of shotguns packed with birdshot to control prisoners. An independent group made up of state correctional administrators says Nevada prison guards should not be shooting at inmates, but prison officials say for now, shotguns are here to stay. The report found Nevada's Department of Corrections is improperly relying on live ammunition instead of proper staffing. Guards, not guns, should be controlling inmates. The report recommends stop Stopping the routine use of shotguns, and once enough guards are hired and trained, there should be no need to use them at all. The report calls birdshot indiscriminate, meaning that it can hit unintended targets. The Department of Corrections has started using a rubber stinger round as an additional step before live rounds are fired. And though they hope to reduce the use of live rounds, they maintain that shotguns are needed to stop serious assaults and to protect both staff and inmates. The DOC agrees with many of the report's recommendations, especially the need for increased staffing and more training. Their response will now go to the Board of Prison Commissioners for further consideration and will be following it closely. In the studio, Darcy Spears, Channel 13, Action News.